Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on BGP. Let's start our part 6. And finally, we look into the limit on the AS path length. So sometimes you do uh, there there will be no meaning for you to have uh, too long AS path li uh, length. What you can do is under the BGP process, okay? Then you are going to use this command called AS path limit, okay? Followed by the limit. So this will limit the AS path length. So these are the uh, different methods for us to secure our BGP. Another feature on the BGP security is called AS path limit. The main purpose is to limit the number of AS in the AS path attribute. Okay, so on the router two, I'm going to set a limit. All right, so the demo here, demonstration here, show you how it's being done. And the command is called AS path limit. And the default here is uh, 255. So I'm going to limit the number of AS in the AS path attribute. Let's say I'm going to set as a five. When I do a display BGP route, okay, so you can see that right now, uh, the number of a path is only one AS only. Um, in this command, AS path limit, I limit the number of AS path in the AS path list as five. Anything above five, uh, you will not able to accept it. So at this moment of time, we have no issue. So I go back on the router one. I'm going to create an IP prefix, okay, to match all these IP prefix, and I'm going to use an adaptive on the uh, AS path. So let me create a prefix. I say that at all. Okay, the command is called add all prefix. I'm going to do a permit. Okay, anything. All right, less than equal to 32. So uh, it means that any of the IP prefix will be cached under the IP prefix. Next, I'm going to create a route policy. Okay, I said that add as. Okay, permit node 10. If I'm going to match my IP prefix my prefix is called at all okay I'm going to apply uh, as path so I'm going to add one two three four five okay with the as 100 itself are it become a six as so I'm not going to use override I'm going to use adaptive okay so it becomes six as Okay, now the route policy is done. So let me do a display IP IP prefix. So this is my IP prefix. Okay, so to match every single prefix, display route policy. So this is my policy. Okay, so you can see that currently it's not, uh, there's no statistic because I need to apply it. So let me go to the BGP 100. I say peer 10, 0, 12 dot, Two that is pairing with the router two. I'm going to use a route policy at AS export. Okay, press enter. So now I export it. So when we go to router two, okay, display BGP route. Okay, so all right, so seems like it's not at at adaptive so let me check what's the problem display ip ip prefix is it match uh, is neither permitted or denied okay so that's the problem with my ip prefix let me fix my ip prefix ip ip prefix at all index 10 okay so i'm going to permit 0000, zero, zero, zero zero greater equal zero less equal 32 okay i should have this working display ip let me look into my policy okay is match here display bgp route there you go. All right. So you can see that 
my policy over here is effective okay just now I'm I actually uh, change my IP prefix to include greater equal to 0 and less equal to 32 and you can see from here it's match 30 of them and uh, currently I'm um, actually added all my entry with uh, AS Power 1 to 5 so in the router 2 you notice that I only have my directly connected um, AS Path okay so this is in effect so when I do a display BGP peer 10.0.12.1 I'm going to look into the Webros and okay so we have our connection is still okay all right so there's the number of uh, messages that is being exchanged okay and uh, let me actually do one more thing here sorry let me go to R2 I'm going to remove the AS path limit and see what will happen undo AS path limit okay display BGP route and I'm going to do a refresh BGP all import okay right display BGP route now this is the uh, limitation that we set early on there you go all right so you can see that once I remove the AS path limit um, the AS path prepending it does work okay so because we already uh, remove it so if I'm going to put back the uh, AS path limit to 5 display BGP route okay so I'm going to refresh one more time refresh BGP or import display BGP route there you go okay so that's conclude our security features on the BGP to provide stability to BGP we have a concept called route dampening okay so route dampening helps solve the problem of route instability so let's look into how this mechanism work now for example a router is being updated on a specific route let's say this route NLRI is 10 so this route will be inside our BGP table okay now when this route later is withdrawn all right primarily because that the route has disappeared due to uh, some problem and later on is reintroduced again so we have a flap okay so to prevent the route from introduce and withdraw multiple time we have to use a route dampening to stabilize our BGP environment so this is how it works now I have here on the x-axis this is time and on my y-axis this is a penalty value for every time that the uh, withdrawal and update we will have a penalty and the default penalty is 1000 so once you have a penalty it will actually increase by 1000 so we have to define what we call a reuse threshold and a suppressed threshold now what's a reuse threshold a re reuse threshold meaning that in this zone this is where if your penalty is between here all the way to here all right I can uh, activate your route but anything above here I'm going to make it as inactive okay so any of this penalty value within this region I'm still able to uh, use you as the next hop now assuming that now um, after the half time this is what we call the half life half life half life basically means that this is in minute let's say for example this is a user defined value if this is a 10 minute and after 10 minutes your penalty will reduce by half assuming that now you already hit into 1000 once you hit the half life your penalty will go down to 500 now if let's say later on you flap again then I'm going to add 1000 to you it's become 1500 
So if you're Panadi and you flap several times, you will hit into this region, your route will become inactive until that the time passes and you do not have flap again, then it will become reusable again. So we call this as route dampening. And for you to configure this, it's not very difficult. Under the BGP process, you just need to use a command called dampening. All right, followed by some value. This value referring to your half time, half life, sorry. Then we have to define what is the reuse. Then we have to define the suppress value. And finally, we have to uh, fill in the ceiling value. All right. So whenever you have a very large network where stability is very important, it's recommended that you configure the route dampening. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you BGP route dampening. Uh, the purpose of the route dampening is to make sure our route is in stable condition. So assuming that your network is in flapping mode, all right, so dampening will help you a lot. Now in R2, R2 I'm going to set the dampening. R1 is going to advertise some um, flap route to R2. So for R2, the command for you to do that is first go into the BGP, then use a command called dampening. Now the first value is called the uh, half life time in minute. Okay, uh, minimum is one minute, maximum is 45 minutes. For our demonstration here, I'm going to set two minutes is our half time. So for every two minutes, they're going to half the penalty value. So next is the value of to start reuse. So I'm going to use 1000 as my reuse route and anything above 2000, I'm going to suppress it. And for the purpose of calculation, uh, I need to set a ceiling. Let's say I'm going to set a ceiling of 4,000. Okay. And uh, you have the option to put in your route policy. So for our demonstration, we just use this without the route policy. So there you go. So we have the uh, dampening parameter set. If you want to check your dampening uh, parameters, you can do a display BGP route dampening parameters. Okay, so what you can see from here is that this is my half time to two minute, which is uh, 120 second. This is my reuse uh, value for penalty, suppress limit for penalty, and there's a ceiling. Okay, so maximum suppression time is 240 uh, second. Okay, so this is how long you are going to suppress. That is about four minutes that I'm going to suppress the round. So it's actually two times your half time period. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is on the router one, I'm going to uh, install a interface so that it will be imported back into R2. Now, if I do a display the uh, BGP configuration, okay, so you can see that I do an import route direct. I'm going to install the uh, interface loopback, interface loopback one, okay. So I'm going to install the uh, interface loopback one here. Okay, with all these uh, sub interface, then I'm going to undo the interface loop at one, one time. Okay, so it actually uh, removed. Now I'm going to redo, install this, and I'm going to undo the interface loop at one. So I have a flap it two time. Now assuming that when I do a display BGP route, you won't able to see the route. Hey. What happened here? All right, now you'll notice over here there's an H. Okay, H basically means that it's an history. Okay, now uh, for me to show you this route is withdraw, display IP routing table, you'll notice that there isn't have any BGP. When I do a display BGP route, let me use one of the route here and I show you, you notice that the penalty is 770 and it has been flat one time. Now by right 770, when I'm going to install the route, you should be able to see that in my routing table. So I'm going to flap it a, a few more times so that it will inside the uh, penalty area. So I'm going to reinstall back my interface. Okay, and I'm going to undo interface loop at one. All right, and I'm going to do one more time and undo interface loopback 
one. And finally, I'm going to redo it one more time. So I have done it three times here. So if I'm going to do a route here, okay, so you can see that it's 1458, flap is 2. So 1458 by right, you should be able to use it. So if I do a display BGP route, okay, so you can see that there's no hitch and display IP routing table. You can see that all the route is there. So I'm going to flap a couple of more times. Okay, undo interface loop back one. Okay, I'm going to paste it back. Undo interface loop back one. Undo interface loop back one. I'm going to paste it back. And finally, undo interface loop back one. And I'm going to paste it back. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to check my routing table. You can see that even though I install back my interface, there isn't have any route. So when I do a display, all right, you can see that because the penalty is 2,595, if I'm going to want do one more time, you can see that it's keep on reducing. Now when the penalty reduce below 2,000, the route will be reused again. So when I do a display BGP, route you notice that is actually is dampen okay do you see that this stand for is actually a uh, dampen right that's good so um, the route now even though it's reinstalled but bgp just refused to put it into my routing table okay right that's where you can see that so now i'm going to wait for my route to go below 2000 now it's just 2000 and when I do a display IP routing table okay we just wait for a while display BGP route dampening parameters uh, the reuse value is 1000 okay the suppress is uh, 2000 Okay, so reuse is have to be 1000 and below. All right, so uh, my mistake over here, display BGP route. Okay, I want to see the uh, route here. And I also can see what are the route that is being dampened. Okay, so you can see that all this D is a dampened route. So altogether, there are 27 dampened route over here. Okay, so we have to just wait for a while so that it actually dropped below 1000. All right, so I'm going to pause this for a while and uh, wait until it go below 1000. Now, after a while, you can see that the penalty is reducing. Okay, so it's 1051. But when I do a display BGP route, you will notice that it's still being dampened. Okay, so now it's 1000 and uh, Okay, so it's still 1000. I'm going to wait for a while. Display IP routing and uh, it's still being dampened now. Okay. Now it's already active. Display IP routing table. Now you can see that the route is uh, activate back. All right. So now you understand that what is the uh, dampening uh, PGP dampening route. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.